Hi, I um, am right now with not, uh, non, not with any organizations, but one thing that is very uh, hard me that me and Karanak were in the midst of the revolution in 1979 in art school together, and faculty of art there was music. Theater, uh, objective art, the subjective art, and architecture. And the role of the school, all the artists, in as the uprising went, uh, get cancer and things change. How important was the role of the school and to play uh, brings people together. Uh, with uh, music, with uh, posters, with, and with uh, movie, even theater, everything. And still after <laughs> uh, that energy remained for in me after almost 38 years. Uh, and during this time, we had I had uh, experienced many things, immigration, even before that, imprisonment, in, uh, imprisonment <laughs> immigration, and um, uh, could somehow lost uh, in many period of this. I lost my connection to the social, the uh, local community that I was living in. I couldn't find the language. I couldn't find the. Uh, route that I needed to, uh, to connect with them. But art was always uh, a means of communication for me. Uh, and in opportunities like there was international uh, women's uh, movement, uh, women, women's conference that I like, I chance to be part of the community and we organized a, like an exhibition of 40 women from 16 years old to 7 years old Iranian artists around the U.S. And it's really brought, when we asked for, uh, like calling for art, it was amazing for us that how two generations from different parts of the country, we have this uh, wish to be here, to, to get to find voice, and this uh, art, one of the things that does is this giving you a voice and recognition. Mm, and 2016, actually, uh, years before that, there's again a chance to work with uh, a, a project that called Abu Street starts here, that founded, uh, started with a poet and artist and bookseller in San Francisco that in defense of people of Europe and in objection with the car bomb that uh, burned a book seller alley that is in Baghdad from uh, 18th century <coughs> uh, and is a book seller spot for the whole Middle East and Arab world especially. Uh, he, in solidarity with that, he calls for uh, art, prints, Poets, poetry, and printmaking and wood printing. Right now, more than 600, about these 20 countries, artists, and lots of poetry reading is around at the March. Uh, and we, I, we, I was part of that committee, and we started to make art again. And one of the, like, the, we have an art exhibition, and that time I invite and I really appreciate that. We find, I feel again at home. It's like the community is more our home than the place, in my case. Uh, and one of the things I don't want to say that art, we can, yeah, we can do projects that bring people together. Even if I tell you, all of you, please draw a circle. That act of drawing a circle, or, or now imagining drawing a circle, is bring them some sense of solidarity. Or for neighborhoods that we have won some gains with, uh, when I was in Iran, that you 
play, ima imagine what your neighbor would want to be, draw it. Or what you remember from the street, draw it to the kids. And we had some practice with Ken. These are bringing people to a level that they start their knowledge and they go back to your themselves, memories and, uh, uh, and creating. We are, I, I, I believe what all of us brings us here is more our human mind, not the academy, not the, the fact that we are active here, then let's go. It's this poet and artist that is inside all of us, I think. The poetry of understanding human being, the um, fact that uh, li um, that literature and uh, theater and music, especially, this is something that uh, strongly we know that it brings us uh, together. By singing together, we create a same spot, a space. A poetry, like last year, I had a, one of these readings of Anuknabi, the poetry of the Monomat Abani is about, is also trying to die, in, it's also fine, it's called, and it says, it's also fine to die a clean bed, to finally be around you, not your face hit the pavement, and for everybody it was fairness, it was what happens in the street here. It's not, it's not that it's some Middle East uh, um, poet wrote that. Or the way that we connect with each other through, our, through, through artistic us. And one of the things I think capitalism is used the most and misused the most is this artistic us. They, uh, like, what, if you think what brings joy to you is curiosity, is new findings, it's movement and like uh, darkness and opening. In, and these, they use this in all advertisement. You, uh, you find, you, uh, people like to, like to become uh, excited when you uh, see something new. It's a package that opens newly, a, a new way. Or somehow art is a new way of looking at reality. But the most important art is not a decorative thing. It's not an accessory. It's an accessory for us. Art is essential. Art is uh, hum humanizing uh, our uh, society, our environment, it's reproduction of human between ourselves and between generations, between countries. And uh, what one, one of the things that we hear ourselves, and in, especially in, in this moment, this period, when um, prediction, uh, it, it cannot predict that much the future. One of my cousins works for a, is his, works for a European bank as a price management manager, and they, one of the uh, big banks. <laughs> and he get a big money to predict, cry, uh, to solve the crisis for, uh, uh, and control the crisis for the next 10 days. 10 days, not more than that. And tomorrow, the next 10 days. Then, and uh, last year, uh, <coughs> Deutsche Bank had this uh, report that the U.S. and Europe, uh, like the patterns, uh, lo looks like we would have a tsunami, economic tsunami. These are things that we can uh, face uh, with rapid change. We need to be creative. We need to be real time. We need to be in touch with ourselves. And art, what it does, is uh, keep you uh, on time, keep you cognizant of yourself, and uh, it, and let you be creative. Let you um, look for out of box for the solutions. This is uh, 
we brought art here, and these arts are uh, just some of them. It was uh, our, uh, my art, my sister and me, need to, uh, to, to digest what's going around us. What bad things are what bad things going around us. And uh, like <coughs> run up to us when it happened and what seen in the news, if after seventeen days they didn't uh, they couldn't find a alive an alive person, I don't know how they could uh, wrap up this tragedy. All these workers, young workers uh, died. They celebrate they after seven days, they one person alive, and I thought all of those uh, hundred, three hundred, uh, one thousand hundred, uh, thirty uh, was as precious as this uh, live person, and about like four thousand disabled, injured, and this is, and you have to digest that. You have you have to digest Aleppo. That is uh, vanishing after, uh, it's not vanishing, and still, uh, as a poet, a Iranian poet said, we are not born today. Uh, the life of the world. We have the life of the world. It's, uh, this city is 8th century consistent residency. And one of the things that art, uh, I said, like we see in art, and this rapid and the move, uh, displacement and constant moving uh, ha is creating is that people don't have time to, to put their mark on the space, to create their artistic, social, artistic uh, uh, beings. Like uh, when we go to a neighborhood, we smell food, we see the colors, we hear the music. These are this is a production of that artist, like artistic part of that society. That's and in many of these neighborhoods, we just see it's like the wind, it's like a storm, it's like even you know, people life doesn't lead to uh, people have no time to paint the color around them with their color, like us that they are coming and everybody were it's. In their own pace of being. Uh, we don't have time, they, they don't like, uh, give time to people to create that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really something that we have fight for. Dignity, respect, and create artistic life. Yeah. Yeah.